Welcome to episode five of The World Is Beep. Uh, in this episode, we only really get through one question. It's a heavy question. It's about famous people being pranked. It's a lot of fun, and we get distracted by a lot of different things. If you enjoy it, share it with your granny, tell your friends, like and subscribe, and all of those words that people use. And listen, have a great week. Look after yourself. No, the ones in the white. In the white. That one socks are all ripped to bits. Look. Yeah. That, that's terrible. I think that's something that he does for uh, aerodynamics. Yeah, or something. <laughs> like Robbie Fowler used to have a, a strip of band aid over his nose and claim that it helped him do stuff quicker. Or that sounds like a lot of horse shit to well, me. It is, I think it is. I think it's just some look of it. Have a brand. Right, okay. You mean like Nelly's plaster on his face? Yeah, that sort of shit. And everyone was like, he's wearing the plaster until somebody comes out of prison or something. Is that what it was? I can't remember. I'm sure that's like somebody he knew was in prison. And so he put a plaster on his face until they came out. But I think more likely, probably just hiding like a wart or something. Yeah, and then someone goes, that's cool, man. And then he's like, oh yeah, it's for this reason. Because he's not going to be like, yeah, I've got a blemish. <laughs> yeah, I've got a zit, dude. See, is, uh, have you seen the, the picture of his abandoned mansion? Yeah, yeah. Nelly's Abandoned Mansion. That sounds like a, a holiday destination, by the way. <laughs> That's an Airbnb. That sounds, yeah, urban exploration yeah. and Nelly's Abandoned Mansion sounds like, honestly, a dream weekend. Yeah, but well, it's proper abandoned. Like, I think where, it's, so what, where is Nelly? I don't know. I, I don't think he's been in trouble. I think he's, I don't know. Have a look at Nelly's Abandoned Mansion and you have to go through four or five Jesus. different pages. <gasps> Wow, that mansion is is abandoned. I mean, yeah, it, like proper abandoned. It's proper abandoned. That's a shame. It looks like a one of them houses. Must have been that worth millions at one those. stage. That's quite ugly from the front. Nelly's former mansion owned by alleged cult. Oh, well, there you go. Well, the story's obviously progressed. <laughs> Should we do another intro? Yeah. Do you want to do an intro? You did a good intro last time. Did I? Yeah, yeah. Because I just put in the other stuff. Oh, yeah, well done. Right, okay, well, uh, hello, welcome back to The World Is Beep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry about all the, the censorship. Uh, on today's episode, we're going to be talking about... Some stuff. Some stuff. I, th I thought you were, I was leaving a gap there so yeah, you I'd, could add it in. Like but I could just time. cut my voice out. I just Why think would I you sound, do such a thing? I don't know. I think I sound like a robot. Do oh, you? Well, I don't know. I don't care. Am right. I going to have to record it again? Ah, fuck it. If I'm a Good. robot, I'm a robot. Do you think we should record a second one? Because we record two episodes in one session. So what we should do, at the end of this, record the intro. All right. So then you How know. about that? <laughs> That's a good idea. So then you know exactly, yeah. then you know exactly what happened. Very Is logical. This... Yeah, I know. I'm Although maybe this unlogical. would just make a good intro in a way. This would make a good intro. I'm, I think I sound like a robot. Well. <laughs> I don't know if I want to sound, I don't. I might have to stop this and play and listen to me. All right, then. Let's do that. Okay, I don't know how to do that. Right, fucking... Self-service checkouts. Our jobs are in doubt. Lollipop ladies on the dole. Traffic lights took their role. AI is taking over. AI is taking over. It's taking over. Well, I'm glad. Well, it's all resolved. Yeah, it's all resolved. Everything's all good now. It's We're all back good. on. We're back on. Right. Well, we never went. That's the magic. We never of, left. Uh, that's the magic of uh, podcasting, bitch. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, I had to brush my teeth for this. Let's go. Only Did you? No, because we're renovating and we're painting the shower, and the shower wasn't uh, accessible for about two days, and uh, and it's only when I was setting this up I went. I haven't had a wash in two. Oh, I haven't had a shower in two days. Oh, rough. I'm all right. Like it's, I smell all right. A little, uh, a little oh. can, of, can of deodorant, so can of lady brushed, deodorant. You hadn't brushed your teeth either. No, I have. I just did this morning. Oh, okay. Just, for just the first time in two days. No, no. The shower's broken. It's just because just the shower's broken doesn't mean I go right. That's it. No cleaning for me. Like a child. That's <laughs> what it sounded like you were saying. Yeah, no, I just, I was joking about brushing my teeth for a podcast. Oh, I see. And then I oh, got I'm distracted sorry. in my head on something else and something else. And then that's where we ended up going absolutely nowhere again. And you're going, why, why are you telling me that story? <laughs> I, I was pretty confused. Yeah. But if you want to, if 
you want to hear us not be confused, I don't know. Where do you listen to us again? I heard radio, baby. There you go. And uh, Spotify, you can watch the video on Spotify as well. And YouTube yeah. will upload that. It's or very grainy, upload. isn't it, on Spotify, the video? I haven't watched it. Is it's it grainy, grainy, but it looks great. Oh, well, I don't mind a bit of grain because these cameras are too sharp. Like, well, they that's pick, it. They pick up. I took a selfie uh, when we were out on a date the other night and I'm looking at my head going, Jesus Christ, you can see too much there. And then Jane has a Polaroid, like a, one of them, and I've never looked better than I do in one of those little Polaroid pictures. It's like, good when there's Because it's just... all soft and you can't, you know, you can just, you... you can't see all the horrible shit. Yeah, like I've got loads of, like I've got a wee blemish here at the you, moment. Do you know what you need? A Nelly plaster. I need a Nelly plaster. <laughs> well, I don't know. Did we record a conversation about the Nelly plaster? That might make no sense. <laughs> it was recording, but oh, it was good. just in the background. Whether it's on the podcast or not, we won't know yet. We won't know. We'll find out because, uh, and you can listen to on all the stuff. Yeah, you, know you what can I mean? find out on iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio. We... That was good. Yeah, that was solid. That We're was so smooth. And you're showing your face this time so your mm. agent can see it and go, That's oh, right. Get here more work. Yeah. So... Welcome, this is the third recording and we're getting the hang of it. We know we've blocked our faces and the mics have been a bit weird, but we're getting the hang of it and we have tissue here because I didn't realise I was sick the, the first two. Oh, the emotions for a, a Ronaldo moment. Are you not well? No, I'm okay now, but I wasn't the first two Did weeks. you have COVID the first two times we did we're, this? We're not sure. Oh, okay then, well. No, because... What we I, don't know. I did a test uh -huh. and I was, I was negatory. And Janie Pants, my lady uh, human, uh, did a, did a test. But I don't think she does the test correct. I think she waves it in front of her nose like it's right. perfume and right. smitten coeys. Like, just, oh, yeah, that's my test done. But it was funny because three different places that we've been, three different people have got COVID. Right. Our neighbour, someone in Christchurch when we were down shared in the car with them, and someone else, I can't so remember. James so, Acadier. So we're going, I think you're the, like the Ebola monkey. I think you're the one that's bringing COVID. Yeah, 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 yeah. The little monkey from Outbreak. Do you know what I mean? Just walking around. Hi, everybody. It's like the opening scene to like, like some musical where they're walking through the village, like Beauty, Beauty and the Beast, or singing a song, walking through this whole village. But instead, in the background, it's just turning into post-apocalyptic, and then people are dying one by one by one. I think what you're talking about is a film that doesn't exist but should. Outbreak the musical. I'm gonna fucking write that. That's a, now that should exist, shouldn't you know it? What? Let's spend a whole episode uh, just using putting AI together and put together outbreak. Oh, I tell you yeah. what, the monkey's gonna to... get you. Oh, the monkey's gonna get you. The monkey's gonna get you. With a tiny little bite That changes day to night Lumps of skin will start to sprout As you shit yourself inside out The monkey's gonna get ya The monkey's gonna get ya I'll need to watch it again Because like most people I haven't watched that film in years <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever watch some like movies you watch back now And you go Wow, how did I sit through this? This is absolutely insane. I find the opposite. Movies I used to not like, I now watch and I'm like, oh my God, it's so shit, but I love it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I love it. I get you. There's this film called, oh, what's it called? She's the Man. Do you ever watch She's the, the Man? man. It's is Amanda Bynes. Oh, shit. Amanda Bynes. I think it's Amanda Bynes. She's in it. And Channing Tatum. And she wants to play soccer, but she can't because she's a girl. Yeah. She wants to play soccer Girls in the school. Back then. So obviously... What does she do? She misses doubt fires the situation. No way. Mm -hmm. Dresses up as a boy. Dresses up. Oh, I remember that. Goes on to the soccer team and uh, absolutely blows them all away. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the coffee I just made is fucking cold. <laughs> I, well, they're not going to be able to hear you from over there. Yeah, no, but it's like I just got to heat up some water, pour it in the coffee. All right, just back. just pop the boiling oh. kettle on. Yeah, but it's fine. Like it's not. It's you know. Don't forget I can push you out. I know, but I was I was talking about Amanda Bynes. Yeah, but I'm gonna come back. Now you're right in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, yeah, we're getting the hang of it. We promise. No, but you know what? Now I know what I can do. Now I know you can. You can go. Where are you going? I'm just getting coffee, and then we. Can... <laughs> That's even funnier. That is funnier. You know yeah. what I mean? That's true. And then we can make a song about Amanda Bynes. Just and just cover it. it. Yeah, bridge it. So uh, no doubt there's going to be a song about Amanda Bynes now.
Amanda Boynes wants to play football. But her lack of willy got in the way. She had to dress up as a fella. And then she was allowed to play. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy those songs. Enjoy. I do like them. I like them. They're 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 pretty random sometimes. Yeah, I like it. But I like that. Yeah, that's how my head is. So it's, I know. I'm sitting there going. Just... We need to mix up the genres more. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to add in as much as possible. So I have a choir. For Let's get an Alanis Morissette inspired one for the Amanda Bynes song. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. Play yeah, like like like, like a like a sort of punk one as well, maybe. Yeah. You know, yeah. there she is. She wants to play. Soccer, yeah. football, whatever it is. But in the end, she has her cake and eats it because, you know, she, eats she plays cake. football as, my, as a woman because they're all like, we accept you. Oh. Turns out gender's not an issue in physical sports. No. Um, so they've solved it. Yeah. And she's got a relationship with Channing Tatum. The fuck? Magic Michael? The very same. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tell you what, though. <laughs> I watched the last Magic Mike film uh, a few months ago. Yeah. Just because it came up on... One of the apps or something. The last... Hello, Ramsey. The last Magic Mike film is fucking terrible. Of course Where they're like, be. Salma Hayek's in it. Yeah. And you're like, she's she's good value. Yeah. You expect her to be in something that's decent. Yeah. Know? But there yeah. she is. She's she's playing this woman who owns a theatre in London. And this theatre in London's on its arse. It's not doing very well at all. Yeah. So she's like, Channing Tatum, can you... Bring your male review show yeah. to the West End. Oh, yes. And and he does. The big Mick. Yeah, he comes in, he makes a show in the West End. It's, and then you see the show and you're like, I'm bored out of my fucking tits. <laughs> I'm so bored. Sorry, I've seen Ramsey. your nipples so seen many times, nipples. Michael. Get your cock out. Yeah, where's your For dick, God's man? Sake, how do you have a film about male strippers and not show us a single cock? You know I mean? Like the full Monty get a weird willy so. Get your, get your willy out. Get your Mickey out, Michael. Magic, magical Mike, magic, magic. <laughs> Why is he calling him? Is he a magician? I don't. Is that? Mm, well, I think he's just. I don't know what's magical about him. I make my cock disappear in you. Well, he makes it disappear. You don't see it. Oh yeah, true. He's, he's maybe an, he's Ken doll. He's, uh, he's got an invisible cock. Maybe That's he's like. Uh, uh, what's your other fellow's name? Ken. Ken. Yeah, you just said. <laughs> Ryan Goslin. No, I'm trying to remember his name. I'm trying to remember his name. He's not magical Ken though, is he? He's just probably Ken. Probably some versions of Ken are. He's Ken No Balls. Kenny No Balls. K, um, K and B. Uh, should we do a quiz? I think we should, yes. Now that we're all settled. <laughs> Is your coffee warm enough? It's fucking disgusting. Coffee's rotten. I did, I did offer to bring you one. Can I just say, because there's a camera, they'll be like, why is David drinking that coffee? He's clearly brought himself from a cafe. There's Alan drinking... Drinking that swill that he's having to... No, this is nice. Because yeah. there's a coffee shop, I don't know if I said this before, on this street, St. Benedict Street, and it's the something cafe, the St. Benedict's Cafe. I don't know what it's And it's called. full of, uh, at the weekend and, and during the day, like, angry, over-fucking-stimulated, uh, you know, stressed-out mothers uh, driving the Remuera the tractors, and they will stop the car in the middle of the road and just, just run in. And it's like... If that was a drug den, people people would be shutting the whole place down. Really? But it's full of yeah. So at certain times you can't get out of the street because there's cars just blocking away and there's is motors. It a destination cafe. Yeah, it's a destination cafe. Cafe just, is exactly I don't what know it is. If that's a term. No, it really is. That, it is. That's what it is. I tried to pretend I knew what it meant. Pop in very casually. <clears> you're all over. right on a Sunday morning, maybe, but it's I don't they're know what day church. it is. <laughs> yeah, they're all at church up the road, and then so I went in one day and I, I got a coffee and I went, yeah, it's just a coffee. And yeah. then I went, do I like coffee or not? I'll tell you what, just buy a coffee machine and then see how you feel about it. And I bought a coffee machine and it's stress-free and I don't have to, you know, elbow past fucking Aye. aggressive mammies. Aye, well, I mean, obviously at home, we use we use an Italian press. You use an Italian yeah, press? We do. I don't know yeah. if that's what it's called. That's what I call it. It's so fancy. I'm like, I'll oh, heat up the Italian press. Is that the little metal thing? Aye. Yeah, I have uh, one of them, yeah. Yeah, that's what we use. Yeah. But we grind our own beans. Of course you fucking grind your own beans. But it's cheap. Do. It's cheaper. Yeah, but you buy a giant bag of beans. You've got a grinder. Yes, the grinder's quite expensive, <laughs> but then you've got you know, it is quite annoying in the morning though because it's quite loud. Yeah, but you can't 
quietly grind a bean. I just, yeah. No, you can't. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in that conversation. Well, uh, I put it out there for you, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Do you know, I say this sometimes on stage when I talk about certain acts, and remember, well, you probably don't, in school, Ed, or like, uh, flick the bean. Yeah, of course flick I the remember. Bean. Yeah, I know, but then you're like, don't flick the bean, you'd fucking kill someone. They'd hit you. Well, I don't know. If don't you know. Flick, if you imagine flick, if you, imagine flick, you did kill them if you did that. You flick the bean and a bean just goes <laughs> up. <laughs> like a ball bear and just goes through the whole body. <laughs> they go, Shoots out the top of their skull. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, that oh, was a whoops, proper bean. Sorry, Jesus. Yeah. Didn't realise that. I didn't know the legume was that dangerous. Legume. <laughs> a little bit of Your fancy little, wordage. There you go. Well, yeah, lady, lady legume. I just mean lady legume. That's the fancy name for the labia. <laughs> Who's your lady legume? Yeah. Yo, flickage. Uh, that's weird. Uh, mm. But you know what? It's, I like it. I like this conversation. Uh, let's, oh, nom nom. So let's start the... Uh, the let's uh, do a quiz. Let's do a quiz, Let's right? do it Because I have God's some sake. goodies lined up. That's why up. we're all here. That's why we're all here. I have some goodies lined up for you, right? Right. Now, first of all, who is Brexit bastard Niall Farage wishing a happy birthday on Cameo, right? Who did he wish happy birthday on Cameo? Should I, should I point out a little typo here? Yeah, there's probably a typo uh, yeah, all yeah. over the place. Wish who, there. Which one? Wish. You've got an extra ah, H yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just feeling... Wish. Wish. Yeah. Wish. Here, listen, I'm going to make mistakes. Who is Brexit bastard Nigel Farage wishing happy birthday on Cameo? Today? Yeah. A, a need a dick. Okay. You see where oh, we're I going understand. with this now. He's been pranked, hasn't yes, he? Yes, he has. Somebody's B, had a go. B, huge anus. Mm -hmm. Or C, I want to be pegged in the bum bum with a Cumberland sausage. A, B or C. What do you reckon is the uh Well, is the I don't prank? see... What's so funny about the third name? I, I, it's, I didn't say it was funny. I just, I it's, know, mister. Is, do you know him? <laughs> no. He uh, grinds the right. with you, does he? A neat, now, which one? Now, he's an, oh, I, do, I probably shouldn't say he's an idiot. Because it takes a certain amount of smarts to manipulate people the way he does, right? Yeah, but then you, you just have to be smarter than the other idiots. So if he That's manipulated true. a certain amount of idiots... He's still an idiot, but he's yeah. just clever. He's higher up the food chain than the other idiots that yeah. have a vote. King idiot's still an idiot. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I guess that's exactly. true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just starting to think which one would he most easily fall for in his... So I have to say it in his English accent. Yeah, go ahead. somebody said to him, yeah. he only has English people working well, for him. Well, I think he reads assume. it. Does he not just read it? Like, and he would eat a dick. That was a good English accent, by the way. Anita eat a dick. And eat a dick. Hugh Janus. Hugh Janus. Hugh Janus. I want to be pegged. I reckon bum -bum. he's gonna. I reckon it's gonna be a. A. Hey, I need a dick. I reckon it's Anita Dick. I reckon that's who Nigel Farage wished a happy birthday to. Let's go. I can't hear it. I can't hear him. I don't mind that. Oh, for fuck's sake! I have to change the, the sentence. The sound's broken. Hang on, hang on. As you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's up again. Look at him there. Look at him with TV. <laughs> oh, yeah. He must be in a hotel room. Actually, there, eh? That looks like a hotel room. Unless he's got a very... Mind you, he does strike me as the sort of man that would have a very sparsely decorated house. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's probably no... There's no... Tr there's no little charge keys and trinkets lying around in Nigel Farage's house. Do you know what I mean? I'd say he's very minimalist. Very minimalist. Like his brain. Does he have a wife? Uh, oh, I don't know. I assume he does. I actually don't know anything about his personal life. I really don't know much about him at all. But he's an MP now. No, he's not. He here, is. He's an yeah. MP now. After his eighth attempt, he's finally been elected as an MP as the leader of Reform UK, which seems to just be running on a platform of stopping immigration. Oh, immigration. Both legal and illegal, I think. But I don't really know. I haven't researched it. That What's his fucking problem like? Do you know what I mean? I'm just going to have a little Google. I'm just going to see if he's got a wife. So I say it's Anita Dick. Okay, right, well, let's go. Here we go. Oh! Happy birthday, Hugh Janus. I've heard you're a massive fan. That's just on repeat. Imagine... Right. Yeah, let's get into it. Imagine being... if I Right, if I was the leader of a political party... Yeah. Right, and that can of, happen. And it could happen. Absolutely. You know, it's not out with the realms of possibility. No. I mean, um... But if, let's say I was the leader of a political party, right, where, regardless of its views yeah, or how likely it was to yeah. actually form a government, 
Yeah. I don't think I'd be available on Cameo. See, do you know, he gets £100 a video. Well, so he, he does drink a lot. It's all the pints he drinks, it's isn't it? It's the pints. Yeah, true. And they're gone up. So if you... Look, it looks early in the morning there, right? You say he's in a hotel room. I think so. And he's like, let's make a thousand pounds before breakfast. One of them sort of jobs. Oh, yeah, you know what enough. I mean? I suppose. So if I do 10 of these videos, hey, happy yeah, birthday, Hugh James. Hey, I need a dick, all of that sort of stuff. And then he'll brag about that to his fucking if he's got a wife. comrades. I don't think anything about his personal life. Personal. Oh, here we go. Spouses. Oh, what is it like? He was married to a lady. Uh, for nine years, they divorced in 1997. Oh, that's and his that's current nice. wife, Kirsten, uh, they're separated. But he has a domestic partner called Lor Ferrari. Oh, so she's foreign. Let's check. So she, she's she got an immigrant? Her own, she's got her own page. Fuck up. There she is there, look. Little pixie cut situation. Jesus. That's Nigel Farage's domestic partner. She was... That sounds like he owns it. It says like born it's a... 1979 or 1980. The partner? Yeah. Maybe she was when created... Were you, when was she born? Maybe she was created <laughs> in a test tube or something. Maybe, maybe. you just don't know. Maybe she was born at midnight. Oh, the yeah. And There's a French on... politician who has worked for several right-wing to far-right political organisations wow. and parties, including the French Nationalist Party. Oh. Oh, Ooh. dear. She seems like a right... Ferrari's the girlfriend of Reform UK leader MP and former UK leader Nigel Farage. That's so amazing. his girlfriend's French. Yeah, so he's into foreigners. Well, so he's like, fuck the foreigners. He meant it. And then he flicks the bean and then it goes through her skull. Flicks le bean. Le bean. <laughs> no, they call it, is it legume in French? It must come from French. Okay, Google. Oh, here we go. What is beans in French? Takeaway restaurants open near me. Oh, I'm on airplane mode. <laughs> Sorry, sure. You got open. airplane mode on. Yeah, so it doesn't. Never mind. Don't care. Lost interest. If you're interested in finding out what French is for bean, you can Google it yourself. Alexa. Oh what no, never is mind. French for bean. Beans in French That's beef. Beef, you mad deaf. Alexa, what is bean in French? Ariku. Sounds Japanese. Yeah, I don't believe you, Alexa. Alexa, go mm. to sleep. I don't know, I've never said that. Next, Next question. One. But he's fallen for this before, right? Oh, has he? Yeah, he's fallen for a few. And here I'm going to show you a clip. He needs, of... a, he needs a wee PA to help him. Yeah, but imagine, I can, like, I really can smell him. Next one. This message is for Brian Kelleher, Brexiteer. And I hope you have a great birthday. This comes from your good friend, Aiden. Now, it's a bit early in the day, so all I've got actually is coffee. But I hope you enjoy a few pints with the lads tonight. Up the ra. <laughs> did you, did you? Up the ra. Could you have guessed what he was going to say? I couldn't. What does that mean? Did you just spill your coffee? Oh, it's the IRA. Yeah. Oh, of course. So they also got them to say Chucky our law. What does that mean? Our day will come as the thing. Oh, in, in in an Irish language. Yeah, I just dropped that little thing down. On the uh, that'll be fine. Having, you are having a... Listen, next time I'm, I'm going to bring you a coffee. I'm just going to keep bringing you coffees. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This Hang is on. ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It's embarrassing to be Fran. <coughs> Are you Frank? <laughs> what do you mean a good tea towel? <laughs> do you have like different sets of tea towels for different know, scenarios? I just, I just realized that it's, it's, it's going to brown stain the tea towel. And like, that's hard to explain to people when they come over and go, What's I your spilled tea a towel? coffee and I used a tea towel no, to no, clean it. Do oh, so you wipe your arse with I'm, a tea towel? No, I'm not being funny as well, right? But. Have you ever gone into somebody's house and like looked at the state of their tea towel and been like, what happened there? Yeah. Have you? Well, I, I, Picking up the tea towel and being no, like, what did you do? My, I scan, I notice shit. I just, I just notice stuff. No, and you'll go, literally judge somebody for the state no, of their tea towel. I judge someone. There's nothing wrong with wiping your arse with a tea towel. Like, it's, people can do what they want to do, but I'll see it and go, 
Dirty their tea ass. towel. Yeah, dirty fucking... No, no, dirty <laughs> tea towel. They wiped their arse with a tea towel. Like, oh. if it was a black stain or whatever, like, uh, or a bit of grease or whatever, you go, oh, they've, 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 they've a bit done a bit of shoe polish. A bit of shoe polish, yeah. Mm. But uh, if it's a brown stain, my mind is only going one place and one place only, and it's not coffee. Tell you what, we got a Chinese the other night, right? Because it's been a busy week. Food. Food, I. <sighs> and I was like, I says to Tim, because usually, you know, we get like a Chinese or whatever. And I says to Tim, I was like, I want that Chinese used to get when I was a little kid where I just get chips, yeah. curry sauce and do. fried rice. Yeah. I was like, that's what I want. Double so carb. then, right, yeah, carb. We used to call it the lesbian special back home because my friends who were lesbians always got it. <laughs> and uh, so eating it, I ate it last night. You know, put the chips down first, bit yeah. of curry sauce, yeah. rice, curry yeah. sauce. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. And I was eating it last night, ate it last night, no problem. And then uh, this morning I was doing the dishes because I couldn't be arsed doing them last night before bed. Yeah. And the curry sauce has only stained my plates. Yeah. A yellowy sort of stain. Yeah. So you'd walk in, see my plate. If I put that plate down in front of you, say I made you a sandwich. Thanks. If I put that plate down in front of you and it was all yellow stained, you'd be like, did David piss in my sandwich? No, because I know. You'd be like, that's a curry sauce. That's a curry sauce thing. That... And, and I go, and fair play to you, and I'm proud of you because I love that. I love sometimes if you don't clean the curry sauce, right? <laughs> right because away. Right away. Not only will it get a stain, it will stick to the plate like you reclaid a whole ornament. It will stick there, and uh, you need a chisel to knock her off. But that's God, that's I love life. It. That's life. That's what it's I'm all not, about. I'm not against a yellow plate. Right, it's just a brown, a brown tea, tea towel. towel. That's so what... specifically a brown tea towel or a brown sheet, I assume. If it was a yellow sheet, I'd go. Maybe he pissed in it. I wouldn't think you're right. mopping up curry with it. But I know you could technically. I'd prob- to be fair, I'd probably eat my Chinese in bed, so yeah. it's possible that I used to. We used to go. So that dish, what you described, we called uh, a three in one. A three kept in this, one. Kept it simple. Oh, right? I love that. And I we like lesbian special. I, I prefer that, but it's, <laughs> and it's you know a dirty greasy bot. Uh, no, it's. Uh, <laughs> Oh, spicy! <laughs> Careful. Uh, so we used to we used to get that after the pub train once uh, a train one, and you go in, and I never even realised that we're eating double carbs. It's only until I think I moved away and I described it, and then a, a local here would have said chips and rice. You meant yeah, it? Like we always had chips and rice. Because you know, when my mum used to make pasta, she made macaroni and cheese or spaghetti yeah. bolognese or lasagna or whatever. She'd serve it with garlic bread. Yeah. And I say to Tim now, if I'm making lasagna, I'll be like, oh, I'll get some garlic bread as yeah. well. He's like, why would we have garlic bread with it? Yeah. I'm like, like, Isn't that not what you have? Is that not what you do? Because we used to have... have chips and a burger, nobody bats an eye. Yeah, but chips, lasagna and chips. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> no, though. it's not. Every do you time not think we, that's weird? Well, I don't really eat, like, I didn't really eat lasagna as a kid, but we'd go on holidays to like Spain, Benidorm and stuff, and you'd have like lasagna and chips, and it was normal. It was just, you just ate it. Like... I didn't realise how much carbs we had. But did, this is how... I don't, did I ever tell you about how much money I spent in the Chinese takeaway in in where I grew up, right? No. So after the pub would go in and the lady behind the counter is Jenny and she was a tiny little woman and you could only see her eyes like in a Home Improvements, the neighbour. Yeah, or like right? Matisha Adams lighting, you know, where the light's only across her eyes. Oh no, this, you could only see the top of her head because she was so small behind the oh, counter, wow. right? Okay. And she looked like... Get cross this bitch but... a stool. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was great, right? Little old Chinese lady, looked like a uh, Yoda. And oh, uh, and she was brilliant. And she loved my family. And she'd go, oh, where's your dad? My dad drove a taxi in the place next door. And she's like, how's your mommy? And I'll be asking questions. Yeah, right. And my, my dad used to always make her laugh by going lovely bum bum and that's all that it took to make her laugh he goes you have a lovely bum bum and she's like <laughs> it's like you flirt right wow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you can get away with that stuff nowadays and anyway I'd go in there after the pub and I'd bring my mates in and I'd say hey Jerry what do I normally get and she goes eight chicken balls curry sauce right and I go brilliant can I have that and I'd walk home eat it and then eat some in bed and just wake up covered in curry sauce and yes. chicken, exactly what you described we've all been there we've all been there and so when I, we brought Holly back when she was two months old to have like a, not a christening, but a non-religious family gathering with gifts a, and... A celebration. A celebration, yeah. And so we had the kind of godfather and godmother, but they weren't official. So uh-huh. it was my brother and sister. And we uh, were sitting in the house and Holly's a baby. And we look out the window and a car pulls into the garden, bad park. And Jenny. Yeah. And we, because we never seen the bottom half of her. Like, my dad obviously did when he like, discussed her bum bum. She's some like, sort of tentacle monster getting yeah. out of the car. It was like, just this little waddling. So, like, what the fuck is that walking in the garden? Like, that's Jenny 
from the from the China Inn. I'm like, I mean, and then we're like, how does she know where we live? I mean, we order loads of curry. She knows exactly. She knows our address. She knows everything. Everything. And she came in and gave Holly amazing gifts like United Colours of Benetton coats that wow. she never was What's going Jenny's to wear. Doing well for herself. Jenny's making a fortune. So Holly was never going to wear because <clears throat> the different seasons we were in Ireland at that time by the time the coat it's winter in New Zealand the so coat wouldn't fit her. Yeah. So I think we sold it. But, yeah, uh, but my brother was sitting there going that's fucking ridiculous. That shows how much money you've spent in her takeaway. That the woman that owns the takeaway has spent years more later. money. Yeah, more. Yeah, years later has spent more money on your kid than me, who's the fucking godfather. <laughs> he was jealous. Well, well, that sounds like jealousy. Yeah, it sounds to me it's like Jenny's over. been a very uh, astute businesswoman. Yeah, you know, made a good bit of money yeah. for herself. Yeah, she's you know? an absolute legend. She's still going. Friends on Facebook with her. I think You're she sold the place Facebook with her. Yeah, you friend. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! I look was this up. the only Chinese place in town? That you no, there was a, there was a few others, but uh, few rivals. Yeah, but that was some put peas in it, and if you put peas in it, you can fuck right off. Right, this right? is a f- the, right. This is an in- <laughs> this is an interesting discussion because so I used to hate that. Yeah, but now I don't mind it because it's the only way you're getting some greenery. Right, into you. and they put a little bit of spring onion on top of it as well. No problem with that whatsoever. <sighs> what I don't like is when there's big chunks of like the white bit of the bok choy. Oh no, I I don't dabble. I don't dabble with that. I don't go anywhere near that area. It's, yeah, it's, it's too adventurous. Yeah, it's too adventurous. It's get that fruit. Like we did it. Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> fruit and veg, whatever that shit is. Get on that like in, vegetable in Melbourne. <laughs> in Melbourne, I bought a uh, green dust. To get my my uh, <laughs> veg into me, I just don't eat veg. I, I'm the same. Yeah, so. I think it's I think it's I don't know if it's like the area of the world that we're from. Yeah, yeah, you know. But my, you know, just I mean, a potato. Oh, I mean, I'm not saying that because you're Irish, but that's literally the only veg I ever eat. All right, haggis. Sorry, haggis tits. That's not a vegetable. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's uh, got bits of vegetable in it. To be fair, it's it's it can it's. It's carby. I don't but mind. I love thing, it. It's the only thing my mum made. Like that, sweet corn. Yeah. You know, mashed potatoes, sweet corn. Um, I can't even, I can't remember her using any other vegetable she, in any ma, dish. My mum would make peas, but we, and the table was oh, against the, the, the wall. And me and my brother would be sat here. And when she's not watching, we'd flick the peas of to course. the end of it. And it would fall down on the floor. Now, in our minds as kids, that was an abyss. And those peas would never be seen again. But in real life. My mother was underneath that table picking up fucking shovelfuls of peas, right? But it's I, like we went to the night markets last night and I ordered uh, some Chinese and there was a random pea in there. And she was, Jane was laughing at me. I was like, fucking sneaking peas in me dinner. And it was just one pea, right? And then she. It's weird though that there's just one. I think it's all the shit is together and they just, you know, pick it just it up fell in. Yeah. And, uh, and it was funny because she, she goes, You're like the dog. The two of you are the same. Because I made. I made peas. I can handle peas, but I have to be in the humour. I have to psych myself up to eat a pea. So uh, so we had peas and rice and chicken, right? Mm. And then it was in the fridge for too long. So we thought, oh, we'll give it to the dog. That's fine. He ate every bit of rice, every bit of chicken, and all that was left was peas. With his massive face, how did he do that? That's to delicately eat yeah. around the peas. He's like, oh, I'm not eating these fucking peas. I love peas. Well, that's all right. You can have them all. You can have Should we do another question? Oh, sorry, yeah. This was a long conversation. But listen, that's good though, isn't it? Yeah. See, you heard me talking about chicken. Did he? Is that the dog coming down the stairs now? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. So, on the same subject of this, people falling for pranks. Have, okay. I'm going to show you a video next. Have you ever seen the video? It, was, it happened here in New Zealand on Breakfast TV. I'm just going to play it for you. and let, and then Okay. Let's go. This happened. We are family. It is the 9th Woo. of December, and here is what we are celebrating with you today, Aotearoa. Today is the day that Francis and Violet Eastwood celebrate their 30th wedding anniversary. I love it. Beautiful. Uh, this is their children's favourite photo of them, <laughs> taken on their honeymoon way back in 1990. I bet your parents want oh to get that afro, though. I love it. Your adoring children, Dan, Rachel, and Edwin, say you are the children. most caring parents they could oh. ask for, and I'm looking forward to celebrating with you today. Here's to another 30 years. Yeah. I mean, it was only a matter of time before Fred and Rose West were a subject of discussion on our podcast. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was really... But did you expect it to come in from that angle? 
from New Zealand Breakfast TV. No, I, d- I didn't. Honestly, I didn't. <laughs> wow, that is pretty bold. Yeah. That's a pretty embarrassing thing for them to miss as well. I yeah. Mean, they're pretty like, prolific. They would have been on news here. Uh, but yeah, I just thought you... <laughs> Do you know, there's this thing I've always remembered about Fred and Rose West, which is because they murdered a few of their kids as well as other people and all that thing. Oh, okay. And one of their daughters, I'm sure her name was Heather. I don't know why I remember that. But she was their oldest daughter. And then she just sort of went away for a while. And yeah. they were like, she's gone. She's away somewhere. When anyone ever asked where Heather was. Yeah. And then to the other kids, they had this joke that Heather had been bad. So she was buried under the patio. So they'd be like, oh, if you don't stop that, you'll be buried under the patio with Heather. And Heather bloody was buried under the patio. You haven't been to my show. No, I haven't. We have we discussed this. No. Uh, my parents, when we were younger, told us that... We used to have an older brother called James. Buried under the patio. Buried in the garden, right? Well, there you go. And then, no, it's, I, I won't tell the whole story as I do on the show, but basically, they, they, we were doing something. We were, I think the story I tell on stage is that we were playing bullfighting, right? And we smashed the window. Mark was the bull, I was the matador. He ran toward me. He ran through a window. Yeah, and I used a non stained, a non stained. It's just his head. It was the little glass windows. Oh, and, just his head. Just, but he smashed his head so many times. Like he, he, there was a truck, there was a, you know the flatbed coal trucks, right? Mm -hmm. And, and he was on his bike and there was a puncture. So there was a slight slant. And I don't know why, or we encouraged him or whatever, but Super Grand was on that day. And we were watching Super Grand and said, I think you could take off if you, if you fly. You could be Super Grand. Yeah, not even technically Super Grand, but you could take off as if. Any 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 TV show you watch as a kid on a Saturday, if a car was driving toward the end of a bridge, all of a sudden they'd be shot in the air. So our minds thought that that's what happened. That's how physics works. Yeah, that's how physics works. So Mark cycled down the truck and just fell on his head. Right, <laughs> that was that was it. Anyway, you're, so you were the kids that are like the reason for the don't try this at home oh, kids. Stop. Yeah, we, we did loads of dumb stuff, but this one. Right, so and uh, so they told us we had an older brother and he was ginger because we weren't ginger at the time. My dad's ginger. He looked like Jim McDonald from Coronation Street, right? To the extent where old women would go, stop hitting Liz, right? <laughs> that right. sort of stuff, right? So, <laughs> he got, right? so he, uh, and anyway, that's what they told us. Now, there was a fella who lived near us and his name was James and he was ginger and me and Mark thought he was our dead brother and we chased him one day, right? Because we went dig and then oh. uh, b- besides that, because we're just So you kids. chased this boy being like, you're our dead brother. Yeah, yeah you're supposed you're to be supposed dead. You're supposed to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. So people <laughs> thought scary. we were weird, right? We Did were they? <laughs> So if So here's the other thing. We found <laughs> bones in the garden, right? But they were dog bones. So we thought, we thought that was our dead brother, right? And anyway, years passed, blah, blah, blah. We laugh about it now. <laughs> and I, I, we were in Holy Moly when my mother was over. My, my parents were over. Mm. We we're in Holy Moly and we were on a pirate's themed grave and there was ribs coming out of the ground and my mother started laughing. She's like, what are you laughing at? She goes, that's your dead brother, James. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Jesus, that's dark. Yeah. It's what's, you know? as well that like, there is this. There's just this slight possibility. That maybe, could have been. <laughs> could but have we been. believed it as kids. But like it was true for them. It was true for Fred them. Fred and Rose West. I mean, they're kicking about joking about it, and everyone's yeah. like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Hey, what do you mean? Hey, there's a way somewhere. She's fine. You yeah. Know? No, she's literally buried she, under the patio. Do you reckon they were cracking jokes? Going, she's down under. <laughs> uh, <I bet laughs> down under were. the patio. Well, they demolished their house, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Afterwards, because no one wanted to live in it, obviously. Oh, you don't want to live in a haunted house. I don't house. know, because it, well, it's not necessarily haunted. It had to be haunted. Surely you'd, you'd get it quite cheap, though, eh? you get it quite cheap. And today, in this day and age, I mean, we were talking about... I mean, when did all that come out? The 90s? 90s, yeah. So if we're talking about the 90s, when everyone could buy it with fucking houses falling out of your pockets all yeah, over the place. Yeah, yeah. Too many houses. Whereas now, here we are, nearly, what, 30, 40 years later. Yeah. We're all like, do you know, I, I'd, I'd buy that house. <laughs> yeah. yeah You'd live in some Derelict piece of shit Just a Well I mean It's not necessarily I mean Not necessarily derelict It's just because You know Just because a lot of people Have been tortured And murdered in the house It doesn't mean That I can't turn it Into a happy home Have a nice feature wall Well you yeah could... Better than having Fucking my daughter Buried in the patio <clears throat> you... I mean But what else Would be buried there You know you'd... Other ki- other people's kids <laughs> There's a lot just of people Buried under that patio <laughs> Cause you're listening to the world.